Alev, hello. Um, this presentation, uh, my name is Van Armenian. I'm the director of Zartong Academy and uh, the president of the Atkin Armenian Foundation. And uh, what you just heard were um, three wonderful, talented young artists that uh, were with us the last two weeks in Artsakh, in Stepanakert for master classes and concerts. This presentation will describe the program Zartonk Academy Resilience Through Music that took place in Artsakh, in July 18 to 31 of this year. This presentation is also a call for collaboration from interested parties to help us support um, our future cultural ambassadors and give a much needed voice to the youth of Artsakh in an adult dominated narrative regarding Artsakh. The Atkin Armenian Foundation is a registered Canadian nonprofit organization. The foundation's mission is to contribute to Armenia's development through cultural and economic development initiatives. In the past decade, the foundation has considerably increased the agricultural output in the Vyodzor region with projects funding beekeeping, animal husbandry, and fruit production. In the cultural realm, we establish mechanisms that provide high quality music education in remote regions of Armenia. In the process, we discover, encourage, and give financial assistance to exceptional talent. To date, we have provided training to promising talents from all regions of Armenia, as well as from Javakh and Artsakh. We have also created and funded the award-winning Armenian Children's Choir, Vayotzor, based in Yereknadzor. Since the 2020 Artsakh War, uh, we have created eight resilience hubs in the Vayotzor region, providing weekly music dance lessons to over 120 children. Um, in 2019, the AF held its first Zartong Academy in Vanadzor, resulting in two weeks of master classes and six concerts in the region and in collaboration with several local partners, including the Armenia Tree Project and COAF. AF has no overhead. Its volunteer staff and board members are from Canada, the USA, the UK, and Armenia, and include prominent musicians, international development experts, and business people. The annual budget increases on a yearly basis thanks to a growing number of donors. In 2021, for instance, over 200,000 US dollars was raised, mainly for our agro development and Artsakh relief efforts. The much loved lyrics, one good thing about music when it hits you, you feel no pain, from Bob Marley's song Trenchtown Rock, are indeed more than a groovy play on words of a musical icon who understood the power of his art, particularly when we read the growing amount of research done on the positive effects of music. Since the dawn of time, music has been used to nurture the human spirit and to heal. We now know that the proto-human used vocalization and rhythm to improve the chances of finding a companion, to calm the, the newborn or to uh, improve clan unity. Homer endorsed it as a path to joy and fulfillment, Plato and Pythagoras as a tool for a healthy lifestyle. Religion has used it as a means to reach the divine, psychologists as a means to reach the inner worlds of their patients. Music is regulated in the brain areas used for emotion, pleasure, and reward. Music is a communication tool that reduces isolation and takes us to better places in our mind. The holistic effects of art, in particular doing art, are widely reported to improve resilience, self-expression, self-esteem, social inclusion, motivation, and related emotional vectors. The kaleidoscopic effect of music is profound. It affects us psych physio uh, sorry, sorry, physiologically, behaviorally, intellectually, and emotionally. It is a unique tool of aesthetic appreciation. These benefits range from the intrinsic, societal, health, and educational to the economic. The research is conclusive. 
Art is an essential part of humanity. Art is an important guiding light in what could be a necessary renaissance in this Anthropocene era. Much of the research regarding the benefits of music learning has focused on its phenomenal extrinsic attributes from an educational perspective, such as enhanced concentration, creativity, self-control, literacy, compassion, and positive social transformation. Music has long been used to develop resilience and enable healing from the trauma caused by humankind's plethora of repressive and cruel acts inflicted on one another. One of the most powerful examples comes from the music born out of slavery. The use of arts in post-trauma curriculum has a double effect. It alleviates the trauma and helps to assess post-traumatic conditions. Psychological and social rehabilitation can be facilitated with music's unique cap capacity to safely bring about nonverbal representations of lived, intense, and even horrifying experiences. Once traumatic experiences are expressed and the silence broken, the healing begins. The benefits of music for healing are well known and now scientifically proven. Recent neurobiological findings confirmed the production of the social bonding proteins, vasopressin and oxytocin through music making, making yeah, through music making, creating inter alia the same safe and comfortable sensations of mother and child during breastfeeding. I cannot think of a better way to express the power of music the power music carries by quoting Armenian Canadian poet and scholar Celeste Nazeli Snowber. We are notes on a tetrachord calling forth polyphonic in our bones. We are ancestral tones. Zartonk Academy is a summer music program in Artsakh modeled on state of the art music training mechanisms consistent, consisting of folk music chamber music, classical voice, jazz, creative writing, and graphic design masterclasses led by international and local artists. Zartonk includes collaborations and live performances. Uh, um, creative programs with local and international partners, scholarships for participants, and much more. Under the guidance of our artistic director, international opera star Hasmik Papian, this Atken Armenian Foundation program promotes creative thought, collaborative spirit, and societal transformation through interlacing the arts, technology, tradition, and the natural environment. Most importantly, in line with the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child, Zartonk allows the voice of Armenian youth to be heard in a meaningful way. We witness top young Armenian talent meeting in Artsakh to prepare performances, sharing the stage with professionals, bringing hope and enrichment to the population. We witnessed the young writers from Artsakh expressing how Artsakh is part of their identity, their work being presented through live performance collaborations with their musician peers. We, wist, we, we witnessed young 44 day war participants rekindling their love for their art. They had lost this passion after the horrors of the invasion. In this time of rethinking Armenia, of the, necessi the necessity to build stronger foundations for a better future, we need to revitalize the nation's cultural well being. Compounded with war, pandemic, and political unrest in the region over the past few years, the grief-stricken people of Artsakh and Armenia need uplifting and enriching programs. This is especially true for the young trauma-inflicted population who require empowering and constructive ways to be inspired for their future. The United Nations Common Understanding of the Human Rights-Based Approach, HRBA, to policy and programming advises on the importance of ensuring that education policy programs and standards serve as a first priority the most vulnerable segments of society. Today, that segment of society is in Artsakh. When presented meaningfully, the arts can be an extremely valuable element to the learner's development. 
as it teaches creativity explicitly. Creativity is increasingly becoming an essential tool for the 21st century, a time of innovation, collaboration, and inspiring imaginative, imaginative solutions. Art does not show you what to do, but engaging with great art connects you to your senses, body, and mind, and makes the world felt. This felt feeling will spur thinking, engagement, and finally action, something Armenian society needs increasingly, indeed urgently today. Music can strengthen community, form identity, and build bridges. It is also a healing force that can help build resilience and spur intellectual creativity. This program sparked real change, an awakening, a renaissance, or zartonk, not only for the youth and people in arts and education, but also to Artsakh public at large. The Zartonk Academy is a program that has already planted seeds of hope and must live well beyond its two week mandate. It is for this reason that an important aspect of Zartonk is to follow through with our commitments to the discovered talents by providing tuition scholarships for their training throughout the year, for purchasing musical instruments, helping with costs involved in participating interna in international competitions and providing one-on-one -on -one career advice. With the world-class level of our, our faculty, we will be able to connect the best talent with the best possible opportunities for advancement on the international stage. Several cross-collaborative pro projects will allow students to discover new artistic possibilities and creative zones for their work. Zartong's mission of helping students develop their artistic skills, experience, collaboration with their peers, form networking webs and lifelong friendships will also help build an art inspired cultural community in the region based on mutual support and respect. The arts, uh, particularly music can contribute to um, projecting your vision of the work you are doing in or for Armenia. We are here to collaborate with you. We are also looking for partners to financially support the world class talent selected by Zartong faculty. We also need technical, legal, and financial collaboration to present the voices of Artsakh youth to the international community interested in children's rights and security. Strengthening these platforms will sensitize the world community on issues important to the Armenian nation and contribute to Armenian diplomacy. Um, we had several partners um, at Zartong, and I will just go over a few because of time limits. Um, one interesting uh, partnership was um, with uh, Tumo. Uh, the Zartonk Academy presence contributed to the state government and hospitality sectors of Artsakh. In particular, our graphic design specialist, Elise Borosian from Canada, who is the senior manager, visual communications at Air Canada, held workshops in visual design strategies with local businesses and government ministries and created and led a two week course for two most students. Um, One Armenia provided their funding platform for our US donors in particular. And may I add it's ongoing this fundraising. We still have a long way to go to reach our goal. Um, the local media extensively covered um, our activities and um, we applied and got financial support from Gulbenkian Foundation, for which we are very grateful. And the government of the Republic of Artsakh provided Zartong with facilities uh, for our master classes, for our uh, students to practice. And uh, the concerts were free of charge. And they even provided transportation for our concert in Marduni. Um, here is a list of our uh, wonderful faculty, including real international, internationally renowned uh, superstars. Uh, may I mention um, Artyom Manukyan, for example, who recently was nominated for a Grammy, Grammy Award. Um, this is our administration team. Um, as you can see, thanks to uh, the internet, we were able to put it all together online. And we met for the first time well, apart from Liana, my wife, uh, we met for the first time in, in Armenia. Zartonk is, in conclusion, Zartonk is also a statement that no matter the outside and inner pressures on our nation, 
Armenians will continue to create, to imagine, to live in dignity and to work for peace. Therefore, we consider that Zartonk indeed contributes to our cause in attaining security and recognition in Artsakh and especially dignity for the residents of the region. Thank you very much. Microphone is that Kennedy? Thank you very much for your presentation. There mm -hmm. is no doubt how important music is in our lives, and I, I, I'm uh, uh, neuroscientist, and I know very well how how it uh, affects our uh, uh, neural system etc cetera, etc cetera. and another very important thing is that uh, i find that it is and not not only me i think many of us find that uh, musical taste and musical culture it's very important to to, to give children the correct direction. Because when we hear the music that comes out from the cars passing on Yerevan street, yeah, one wants to kill himself. So yeah, no, really, please don't. really, it's very important to give the children the correct direction. And in that sense, I see that, that your program uh, is uh, I, th I think it's very balanced, that uh, it's very good. So my, my question is, um, what, is the, uh, what is your goal in enhancing this, this program? And how many students or centers do you have now? Maybe you told somewhere your presentation, but maybe mm -hmm. I, I uh, didn't fix it. Uh, so how many you, uh, yeah. educational locations you have now? And what is your plan yeah. to on uh, enhancing this? And and the second question is, what is your strategy or what is your possibilities to to uh, to attract musical professionals to participate in this uh, program? Yes, thank you. Um, so uh, the Atkin Armenian Foundation has, I would say, three main projects. One is a scholarship project for um, students who are attending um, the conservatory here or a music school. We have about a dozen students who are receiving quite uh, substantial help. Um, in Vyotzor, we have eight resilience hubs uh, in eight choirs, um, and uh, these are on order villages uh, near um, Nakhichevan, and in, I would say, seven out of eight villages, um, there is, that's the only activity they have, the children, that is cultural. So it's, uh, it's very important for them. And then our third main project is Zartonk Academy. The idea of Zartonk Academy is, um, is to help bring um, the best um, teachers to Armenia, by Armenia, I mean Artsakh too, of course. And um, to bring them here, instead of sending one child to Europe, let's say for a two week session, we bring the, the, the teachers here, but we all, most of the teachers actually are from Armenia. So, um, and the students are able to work for two weeks intensively. Um, they do basically the equivalent of one semester of um, work in two weeks. Um, no, the purpose is really to um, um, build um, these connections between the students. So it's not only, they don't only meet at competitions, but they meet and create music together. It's basically creating the, our future cultural representatives of Armenia. And when, when we hear, you know, a great singer perform at Metropolitan Opera or um, at, uh, you know, Concertgebouw or something like that, or like Artyom Manukyan, who 
who was recently nominated for a Grammy, a very respected jazz musician. Um, this only uplifts our nation and, and it creates a real strong contrast with our unfortunate neighbors who, with, although they have 80 million population, they are not represented on international stage as much as Armenians. So it's a political move, I would say, and um, diplomatic, uh, successful. It's, it's their ambassadors, really, cultural ambassadors. Thank you very much, Juan. Um, 